Hello and welcome back to another satisfactory guide. This time we're going to be talking about tips and tricks to build cleaner looking factories. But bear in mind this is a personal choice, so some of the options may not appeal to you. Now we are going to cover some of the basics to start off with, and then we're going to get into some of my more advanced tricks. Now if you do find this video helpful, do drop us a click on that thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe and join our audience awesome discord the link will be placed below anyway let's jump straight in so starting at number one it's really simple I say it with everything it's to use foundations it will just make everything so much more easier to organize and look neat especially for bigger factories tip number two plan out your logistics so the heart of a factory is the material inputs and outputs Thinking about this last will make your factory look like a webbed mess, so I definitely recommend placing down um, your train tracks and roads first if you've got to that point. If not, just try and place a few foundations worth of space to organize where your trains or roads are going to run from. And for more factory planning tips, do check out this video that I made earlier. I'll place a link um, just on one of the cards above. Now tip number three is to place conveyors above or below your roads or railways so that they're not on show. That being said, if you are using conveyors to run items into your factory, then what I would recommend for our next tip is to run them all on a conveyor bus, which just means everything looks a lot more tighter, cleaner, um, just something that I really enjoy. So our tip number five is that when you're feeding factory inputs, consider actually feeding them from below. I've done a few videos on this. You can also do them from above. And this really does tie in nicely with um, the third point, which is running all your conveyors underneath the wrong way. Now tip number five is to place walkways at factory height um, over the bottom fed sections. Now this will just open up the factory and make everything look pretty cool. It's something that I really enjoy adding to my factories. Tip number seven is if you're using walkways, you can actually place power poles in the gaps or you can offset them so that the wires are also connected from below as well as you can see here. And you can also connect the wires from below if you offset them. Um, that's another thing that I like to do. Now also, whilst we're on the topic of wires, do consider using conveyor walls so that your wires don't clip through actual walls if that's something that really annoys you. Now our eighth tip is to color factory sections according to the manufactured item tier or for item groups where various item groups are. This isn't something that I do so much but I've seen it in our factory videos where people color code and it does look pretty cool and it does help in terms of organization. Now tip number nine is to have a central storage area so that items aren't placed in sporadic areas so that you don't have to travel far to actually find these items. Now a central storage area I generally place somewhere close to roads so that I can quickly enter and exit or maybe even close to a train station as well so that you can quickly um, jump on and off a train if you're um, taking the items to a further away factory to extend. Now our tenth tip is to segment or compartmentalize production areas so that each area is dedicated to one group of items which kind of nicely um, ties in with the colouring of the factory. Tip number 11, when it comes to architecture for railway tracks, use plenty of space. There's no need to like keep it all really tight unless that's what you want. Um, what I actually suggest after checking out some of the Fan Factory Fridays um, is to actually use four foundation blocks width on any two-way track of um, railways. So you have two foundations per piece of track. And that's just going to make everything look a lot neater and it also means that you can run a road alongside should you wish to. Another thing that you can also do is run the train line above the actual roads which does look pretty cool as well as a kind of monorail system. Now our final tip, tip number 12, consider downloading some mods to use different items such as the windows and the lights to show off your factory. Um, I've actually done a video on this on how to set up mods and actually get 
glass windows and lights into the game so you can check that out here I'll place a link above but it's definitely worth checking out and there are also some recent mods that look absolutely awesome and satisfactory which I am dying to get my hands on but I'm going to have to wait until I return to the UK because my laptop can't handle a lot at the moment. So there we are guys, 12 tips to making your factories look cleaner. Now if you did like these tips then be sure to hit the thumbs up icon and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And if you have any other tips you'd recommend for making a neater looking factory, by all means place them in the comment section below so that we can spread the love and everyone can check them out. And maybe I'll spotlight them in another video shortly. Anyway guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now.